Well, Kiffin isn't the only one doing things differently today. After all, we got sports director Joe Cook over there at the news desk and our intern Cam Adams making his WAPT debut right now with a report for us on Bellhaven and Mississippi College spring football games. Cam, take it away. That's right. As the seasons are rapidly changing from winter to spring, two football teams are also experiencing some big time changes in their season. Today, Mississippi College and Bellhaven held their spring games after both teams announced the signings of new head coaches. Mississippi College was looking like a force on the defensive end as the D-line applied pressure to the offense all game. New MC head coach Mike Kershaw said that the effort on the defensive end stood out to him the most today. Yeah, I think the defense really flew around. They made a lot of plays, um, got a turnover, which may have been a pick six, which was really good for them. Uh, but our biggest deal for them is just fly around, act like a bunch of nasty defensive players, right? And that's really the, the, the way that Coach Peruta's coaching these guys up and I think they've really bought in so we're excited about what they're going to come back and look like in the fall um, add some pieces to them as well and it's it, we're, we'll be really ready to go for Bill Haven's new head coach CJ Nightingale the offense is what surprised him the most whether it was big time catches from receivers or the quarterbacks making their own plays the Blazers were putting on an impressive offensive performance all three of our quarterbacks right now that were out there today, they're just athletes, and that's it. Uh, if you look at college football today, um, you still will have the traditional pro-style West Coast quarterback that stands in the pocket, but then what makes that quarterback special is the ability to make plays um, out in space. And so all three of them can do that. We've been kind of impressed and um, excited about how th all three want to do that as well. Um, it takes advantage of QB run game because you always add a hat and plus one in the box. And so it's something that we encourage, but it's also something they want to do. So it's a good balance of both. We'll see how both teams improve when fall camp starts later this year. Reporting from Clinton, I'm Cameron Adams, 16 WAPT Sports.